This segment is sponsored by the Prince George's County Department of Parks and Rec. March is National Nutrition Month, so it's a great time to polish your healthy cooking skills with the Department of Parks and Rec in Prince George's. So I got to go out to the Kentland Community Center to sit in on one of the classes to find out a little more. Take a look. So did you all know that there are different names of sweet potatoes, different kinds? Oh, well, let me, let me see what you know. All right, so these nutrition programs, who are they for? Who's the best person to come in and, and watch one of the classes? Ellen, we are inviting folks of all ages to come out. No experience is necessary. We're right in the middle of Nutrition Month, so we're encouraging folks to come out and learn ways to incorporate some more plants on your plate, some low sodium choices without sacrificing taste or flavor. Where are these classes being held? When are they being held? Like, How can people get them on their calendars? So the remaining classes, and these are free by the way, are at uh, March 19th at Avil and Cole Activity Center and March 28th at Prince George's Plaza Community Center. Orange pepper, the orange. So did you notice that they get a little bit sweeter? It seems to be a pretty packed class today. Do you need to register? Yes, the classes are free, but you do need to sign up in advance at pgparks.com. It's plant-based. Why would you think you would use a plant-based over a regular uh, butter? It's amazing to see what people learn today. It seems like they uh, really took away a lot from the classes. Is that true every time? Every time. We're so glad that uh, Chef Roz has agreed to continue providing the service for us and teaching our community about healthy eating habits that are uh, easy and fun. Um, so we're looking forward to welcoming folks out to her classes. But what I found out is when you just bake this by itself, does the sugar just the sweet potato, right? What could someone expect who's not been to one of your classes before? What could they expect from this? Oh, to learn something new, something new about what they should be eating, when they should be eating it, the purpose, the benefits, and nutritional value. Why, why wouldn't you use margarine? Because it's a lot of chemicals, a lot of, a lot of additives, let me just say that, a lot of additives in margarine. I love it to be interactive because people, you don't know what people don't know until they tell you they don't know. And then I just interject and let them know. They learn. You learn better. They learn about me as well as I can learn about them and what they know. So I'm just chopping. I like chopping. A lot of people don't like chopping and prep because it's the prepping part. So this is the part I don't like, but this is my therapy. Different recipes every time or it's a different recipe every time so I come up it depends on the theme so if I'm talking about diabetes or maybe talking about uh, hypertension or uh, what to eat in the springtime what to eat in the winter time with different smoothies things like that yeah eat according to the rainbow so we're putting them in there people get lost in uh, what to do. I remember uh, years ago when I became a health coach and I used to shop at a very, uh, uh, like a Whole Foods a market, and I would see people come in and they just stand in the produce section lost, trying to figure out what do I do with this or what is that or how. And so that's why I encourage people to come to my classes to learn about these different things, the rainbow chart. Um, uh, broccolis and asparagus, all the cruciferous vegetables. Just basically uh, educating them the purpose of eating those things, the nutritional value, the minerals and things that they get from their foods and how it will make you feel more energized and just full of life instead of just that uh, dead feeling and eating the processed food. I'll keep the seeds in. So I just took them out for you all. But uh, seeds is the beginning of life. So I keep the seeds, experiment with some spices and herbs, and see how it tastes. If you don't like it, try another one. But still, you know, get it in. You can bake them. It's all to air fry, bake, boil, broil. It's all different types of ways now. Roast, oven roasting, vegetables and things. So it's different ways that you can do it. Just experiment, try it. See if you like it. Even if you don't like it, eat it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> don't waste the food. Eat yeah. it anyway. You can yeah. learn a lot from Chef Roz, but the question, Ellen, yeah. how was it? It was really good. Yeah. First, it was inspiring. The yeah. producer and I who were there went home and thought, what else can we make? She made a sweet potato hash. It was so good. She threw in more than just sweet potatoes. She, that's what yeah. she's kind of the peppers, the peppers for. and everything. And then that shard. We had never seen something I never would like, know what to do with that. Absolutely no idea. And she showed us how to you know, cut it up. Good and job. Make it taste really good. You want to eat it. Uh, remember, there are two more events that are happening this month. A plant-based 
Fast Eating Workshop that will happen on Tuesday, March 19th, and also a kidney health cooking demo on Thursday, March 28th. You can go to pgparks.com to register and also to learn more.